Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode from the Pixelmon Let's Go server. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I am having a fantastic day. Um, I want to build a shop in today's episode. I think it is high time for us to start working on our uh, perfect Pokemon shop. It's It's been a while. Uh, like, like, it's been a project that I have had planned for an extremely long time, and I just haven't quite, in, uh, I, I just haven't quite gotten around to it yet. Uh, so we're just gonna grab a few resources. I think this will probably be enough to get started. Let's just do a little of this and a little of that. Make some white glass, which we will turn into stained glass panes. Uh, I've got that stuff up there. Oh, we also need white con- Ooh. I'm gonna need more white concrete than that, I think. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need more white concrete than that. Uh, also, we are going to need probably about half a stack. Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Gotta make lime terracotta. There we go. Do a little of that as well. Okay, hopefully that will be, this should be at least enough for us to get started, and if we need to uh, keep going, like if we if we have to do other stuff, then we can. Uh, let's grab a crafting bench to take with us as well. Got my ender chest. Okay, I think I have everything. So I've picked out a spot, uh, basically over here, kind of by Tilted's uh, shop. It, it seems like on the server, this is kind of where all the shops have ended up like over in this general area. So I've marked out a spot right here, and this is where we're going to actually start building things. So let's plop down an ender chest. Let's put out a shulker box or two just to have for uh, like random storage of stuff. Um, I'm just gonna dump all of this into there, and I'll put a crafting bench right here. Okay, so, first things first, I need to make, um, oh, there we go. Hmm, that's weird that that was delayed, but whatever. Uh, I need to make some, oh, what's the recipe? Is it full blocks? Oh, it is, okay. Uh, I need to make some quartz pillars. Let's just make like 16. Um, let's make 20. I think that's enough. And we're just going to put them down like right here. Let's go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. Okay. Then, I'm going to just clear out this, oh, go back you, I'm just going to clear out this terracotta that's here. Oh, we're actually going to need more quartz pillars than that, aren't we? Yeah, 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 we definitely are. Okay, that's fine. Um, let's just get rid of all that, like so. Let's just make a bunch more of those, and then I'm going to put one here and here. And then here and here, I think. And the entrance is going to be right here. We'll kind of bring this pathway around like so. So let's go up. Um, That should be fine. I feel like these are supposed to go up a little higher. I did design this in creative mode first. And honestly, I went through probably... 20 or 30 different iterations of this shop <laughs> before I finally came up with one that I actually liked enough to be like, all right, there, this is the one, this is the build. Um, so yeah, this has been a project that like, I've been meaning to do it forever. I just haven't gotten around to it. Uh, so right here, I'm gonna clear those out, put in some white concrete. Um, Right here, we're going to do, I think, something like this. Yeah, that should be fine. And then right here, 
Is this... Uh, actually, I think this is... Yeah, 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 like this. This is good. We'll just put all of our white concrete in. And then this is going to be the doorway right here. Uh, and we also need to go up and down. And white concrete. Okay. So that's kind of our basic shape. Um, just for the moment, I'm going to put a couple of torches in. These are going to get changed out later. But for now, I think that'll be fine. And then right here, we'll just put in a little bit more white concrete. Okay, so we have our shape. This is good. Let's grab ourselves these white stained glass panes. And we're going to have nice big windows all along here and there okay um is that how I want to do this this is going to be the door and we're going to have it open like that with the uh, the glass panes like so. I think that'll be good. This floor, this whole thing is going to have to come out. And we're basically going to have what this is going to be. This is going to be the upper level of the shop. The shop itself, like all the where all the stuff is and all that kind of stuff, is actually going to be located underground. Because I want something that as I get more and more Pokemon that I can breed like on demand... Um, I want to be able to expand the shop space, uh, basically infinitely. Like, whenever I need to add new Pokemon, you know, if I need more space. Because what I want to do is actually when I uh, have pictures and signs and all sorts of stuff, kind of labeling everything, uh, make it look all presentable and stuff. Uh, but that means that I'm going to need basically, a, like, a column, if you will. Like a, like a four-block column for every single Pokemon. Uh, and that means that as I get more and more, I'm going to have to expand this whole space. So what I'm thinking is let's do that, but let's do it in such a way. Uh, let me just grab. I think that's enough, actually. Um, oh, and you know what? I need black concrete, too. I didn't even think about that. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, this is going to be stairs like so. And then here in the center, this is basically just going to be a Pokeball. Uh, we're going to have a Pokeball floor, and in the very center of the Pokeball, right here, will be an elevator that takes you down to the lower levels. And I don't know if we'll actually get the lower level part done today. Maybe we'll do that in next episode. Uh, but I definitely need to do a little bit more prep work here, it looks like, because I'm not quite as prepared as I thought I was. So bear with me just a minute, and I will be right back with you. All right, guys, I am back, and I think I am now good to go. So the first thing we're going to do, actually, let's put you back, and let's, uh, you know, we can just use white concrete for that. Uh, let's do the floor on the inside of this building first. So grab a little white concrete. I'm just going to put that underneath each of these because it doesn't matter what block goes there. And then right here, we're going to do something along those lines. This right there is going to be white concrete. And on top, will have red so and then this is going to be an elevator um for the moment i'm just gonna put a red dot i'll, I'll just put this right here but this will be an elevator uh, and that's where you'll go to actually go down to the the lower floors of the place so now we got to do a couple other things uh let's actually tear out these bits right here Oop. um There we go. Grab this stuff. And we'll go up. And then these ones are actually going to go up one more. Uh, there we go. Okay. So then I need some... Excuse me? Why are you 
not slabs. I, I told you to be slabs. There we go. Uh, so we're just going to do something like this. For this little part right here. And we're actually going to do the same on this side. As well. And that's going to be like a little awning that'll go over the window. And then I need... Uh, sure, I can just use gravel as a pillar block. That's fine. And then right here, this is where we're going to do something a little bit, uh, a little bit interesting. So to add a splash of color, I'm going to take this lime terracotta, which I might need more of, but I don't think I will. Nope, we're going to be fine. We'll have enough. And we're basically just going to bring that right here around this little top bit and then on top we're going to cover it well kind of anyway we're going to basically put um this line right here with quartz slabs kind of on the lower half of this green terracotta block And we'll sort of round the corner. There we go. And then I am definitely going to need more quartz slabs. Uh, and also, we need more white concrete, too. Uh, do I have more? I've got more quartz right here. Here we go. Let's just... Um, yeah, that's probably fine. Oh, and now I have an entire new thing of... Sometimes the inventory... <laughs> In Pixelmon's a little wonky. Like, sometimes stuff will, like, disappear from your UI, and then it'll come back, and then it'll disappear again. I don't know. Whatever. It's fine. Um, so what we're going to do up here on the top is basically this whole top bit is just going to be port slabs. We're just going to cover the entire area, the entire roof, if you will, with this. Let me just get that done. We're almost finished. Here. Like so. Fill in the rest. There we go. And... There we go. All right, roof is completed. So now if we take a look at it from over here, we get kind of this interesting sort of very modern. I don't know if I would even classify this as modern, but it's definitely not like medieval. <laughs> uh, we get this kind of interesting uh, shape like so, where you get the little splash of green up there and then uh, the windows and all this other kind of stuff. So then we got to deal with the inside, and the inside's actually pretty straightforward. We're basically just going to put some white concrete like this. Um, and up here, this is going to be the ceiling. I think I'm actually going to fill that bit and this bit in as well. The, the bits up above aren't really going to be that important. Um, but we are going to put more quartz slabs up here. And I think I want... Actually, I think I want the light to go right here. Now that I'm looking at this, I think this will be better. So our lights will be spaced kind of like that. I think that'll look... Uh, a bit better than it would otherwise. Uh, so, for the lights, I want to use sea lanterns. And actually, I found an ocean temple, uh, or an ocean monument or whatever, uh, the other day, that had not been looted yet of sea lanterns. So, believe it or not, I actually have sea lanterns, even though they are rather hard to come by on this server. I've got an entire stack of them right here. 
And we can make that work as well. Also, I should probably check. How does how does one make an elevator again? Elevator redstone uh, surrounded by iron. Let's just go ahead and make one of those real quick. Grab one redstone. Grab... I do not actually have eight iron. Really? I, I, I guess all of my iron is over at uh, my other base. Well... That's highly unfortunate. Um, <laughs> um, hmm. Okay, well, you know what? We're just gonna put a sticky piston in its place and I'm gonna grab two signs. Let's try this again. Okay, so <laughs> apparently I need to go and gather iron, which actually I really need to do anyway because I've got like I have like three or four nether stars to make a beacon, uh, which would actually is actually going to be something that I definitely want. Like I want to get a beacon before we finish this shop. Uh, I'm just going to put this right there just temporarily. Uh, that will be an elevator that goes down. Uh, but anyway, sea lanterns. We're going to go one, two, three, four. And that should keep everything in here all lit up. We'll get rid of these torches because we don't need them anymore. And that, except for the fact that this will be an elevator, that's basically the shop. Like, it's simple, but I think it looks pretty solid. I'm, I'm actually quite happy with the way that this turned out. How does it look from above? If you're, like, flying around... The top is very white. Um... But I think it's okay. I think that's fine. Yeah, I, like, I honestly, I'm, I'm fairly happy with this. Uh, okay, so we're just going to put a sign on here. We'll say, Wells is perfect. Actually, you know what? I'm going to move it up a little bit. Wells is perfect Pokemon shop. And we'll say, opening soon. And same deal. Done. Lovely. Okay, so that looks perfectly fine. Uh, now we need to do the pathway. So what I need to know, is this oak? This is oak. Okay, so we want to use oak wood for those slabs. Um, and I can't really do pathways underneath these glass bits. So I think I'm going to do something kind of like this. Like, we'll kind of stagger the path a little bit so it looks like that's sort of intentional. Uh, let's go maybe here. Uh, get rid of these. Um, hmm. Do I have any grass? Some of this I'm I'm not liking quite as much as I thought I would. Uh, let's... I lost my shop. Here it is! I found it! Okay. Um, I think I actually want to go and put that back. And then this is where the pathway is actually going to, like, work its way up. Like, right here. So we'll go boop boop. This is where it'll kind of come around. And that's a little too much. Maybe something along these lines. Maybe we can put that one back. Get rid of that. Um, sure. I think that's fine. And then these three will be slabs here, here, and here. So we'll go like so. Oop. You need to be a path block. You need to be a path block. Because I want to get... Um... You know what? Let's just go get some oak slabs real quick. I've got a bunch of them at the house. Uh, I want to get the path all sorted out here too before we call it a day. Here we go. 
Let me just grab some oak. That's spruce. Is this one oak? Dark oak. The woods all look the same, I'll tell you. All right, here we go. Grab those. Grab just a few of these because, honestly, I don't really need that many slabs. Oh, really? Tata? You're interrupting my video. Please leave me alone. Okay, we've got it. It's fine. Okay, so going back to this, we want one, two, three, kind of coming up here like so. Uh, I'm going to put some temporary torches. We'll do more like proper lighting uh, in a bit, but not right this second. And then I think this is going to be... the rest of the pathway. Like, I think we'll put it right there. I do need just a couple more slabs. Here we go. go there. And let's maybe go boop, 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 like so. So that'll kind of work its way up. Yeah, that seems fine. Break that. And go like so. Yeah. All right. So now the path kind of diverges over here and sort of works its way around and to the shop. Fantastic. It's uh, it's good. It's good. I like it. All right. So we still need to do the under bits uh, of the shop and actually get the different like Pokemon and all that kind of stuff in there. Uh, but as I said before, I think I really want to get a beacon before we do that. I think that's probably wise. Uh, I also think I want to get a couple of leaves. And I don't know if I actually have any in the house or not. It's easy enough to find out. If not, we can just kind of steal a couple from somewhere. It wouldn't be that big of a deal. Uh, nope, no leaves in there, and I think that's probably the only place where I would keep them. I wouldn't keep them with the saplings or anything. And we only need, like, I only need, like, eight leaves. So, um, here's what we're gonna do. I just want to find a random oak tree. F find a random oak tree that doesn't, that isn't part of the landscape already. Um... Perhaps over here we can maybe just, like, chop down a single tree and... Or, you know what? Here's what we'll do. I'm just going to steal a couple of leaves from here. Because I've got... Uh, I, I have a Silk Touch axe. So I'm just going to steal a couple of leaves off of this tree. And that gives me enough. I only need, like, eight. <laughs> So, I'm just going to call that good. Um, no one will even notice. It's fine. All right. Uh, grab the leaves. Two here. Two here. Two here. Two there. Beautiful. And then uh, we can also add in more foliage and flowers and stuff later if we feel like it. But honestly, I think this is pretty good. So, there we go. The perfect Pokemon shop is finished. Well, at least the top part of it is... Oh, hello, movie learner. Do you have anything that's actually useful? Brave bird. Flame charge. The tailwind. Eh, nothing I really care about. All right. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, that is the perfect Pokemon shop. Done and completed at least the top side of it. The bottom side, uh, I need to go gather beacon materials first in large quantities. And I need to get a lot of film as well. Uh, however, I think I can buy a camera and film over here, because basically what I'm going to do is take a picture of every Pokemon and put it in an item frame. Um, is this a camera store that doesn't actually sell anything? Mario's camera shop. Mario, your camera shop isn't much of a shop. It, there's, there's literally nothing in here. It's just a giant camera. I'm 
kind of upset, actually. I want to buy all the film from you. Um, anyway, guys, I think that is going to do it for today's episode. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Link's in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.